yeah it's one of those videos what's good y'all hey man y'all you know it's your boy prince beckett For you, God. and today is a special type of video it's been a long time since i honestly just sat and talked to y'all you know what i'm saying what's good y'all it's the it's the one-on-ones you know what i'm saying camera to the phone screen computer screen whatever you want but on a serious note I just wanted to talk, you know what I'm saying? Um, Lately, I'm gonna be honest, I've been very stressed. It's not about me being stressed, but it's about me giving advice because I know I'm not the only person feeling this way. So as you guys know, I started Full Sail, which is a college for entertainment. You know, you got graphic design, film, you know, music making, gaming, whatever. Just look up Full Sail, links in the description if you are interested, it's a great school. but I started full sale about um the beginning of um the beginning of May, May 1st, I started full sale. And as most of you guys know, I've been going to school for six out of seven days, bro. I went to school six out of seven days for a month straight. So only one day I was home. And I wasn't really home. I was still doing stuff because it's Sunday. I went to church. Obviously, I'm not bothered with going to church. I love going to church. Um, I went to church every Sunday, but besides that, my afternoon is already cut because my whole morning, because like I said, put God first, hundred percent. That is not a hassle. But what I'm saying is that's less than a day of free time because I already had the one through six days. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying. Um, so pretty much I had only my afternoons for for every single day of may um to like relax and do stuff and between doing youtube homework and just living life it was getting very stressful and as i said before i know i'm not the only person feeling like this so and i just want to do a mental check-in how y'all doing man let me know in the comments how are y'all doing um, if y'all want to talk about anything, talk about in the Discord or just DM me Instagram or just private private message me Discord anywhere, right? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, just give y'all, you know, tips and advice, you know, because um procrastination that is definitely something that definitely came up when I was stressed. And the one thing I can definitely say to y'all, do not push off stuff to the next day, bro. Unless it's an emergency, unless you really have to. I'm recording this video at 9.40 p.m. Sunday, which is yesterday from when y'all saw this video. I'm pretty sure I might drop this video Monday. I think I might drop it Monday. You know what? I'll drop. I can drop it Monday. I can drop it Monday. Um, If I don't, ugh, I'm just talking. I'm being honest. It feels weird talking to a camera. I don't really do videos like this. But for all y'all who are paying attention and who are like who's staying and watching it, thank y'all. But yeah. Um, procrastination is definitely something that comes up when I'm super stressed because a lot of times I feel like if I push something to the next day, then I'm going to have time the next day to do it. But then the next day comes around and I get slapped in the face with more work. And I'm like, yo, um, I'm just like my, now I'm just like way I'm, I'm, I'm in a worse situation than I was the day before. So that, that pretty much what's been happening for the last month, as you guys know me dropping youtube videos um at first i was doing good i want to say the first the first two weeks of school is when i dropped every two days and the quality obviously to y'all y'all still told me the quality was good but i know the quality of my videos the first two weeks of may could have been way better and should have been way better but i was trying to rush and get them done because i also had school and i wanted to balance it and that burned me out that mentally drained me yo like that's when i took that i think i took nine days off of youtube the third week of the third week of the month is when i took that break and y'all saw my channel when i was talking about taking a break and that's when i was like man Dang, I, I told y'all this video feel like it's all over the place. Hopefully when I edit, I can I can find the theme of the video. But yeah, I was stressed. I started I started pushing myself too much. And then that's when I started procrastinating. 
So after I took those nine days off, I wasn't procrastinating video wise, because as you guys see in the last like what, two weeks, I probably only dropped. Dang, I only dropped, I only dropped four videos in the last two weeks. But as you guys saw, I had a reason for it. I said, I'm gonna put more quality over quantity. And as you guys see, it is quality. I revamped certain things. I started going crazy on my thumbnails again, and I completed a whole series you made Nikki. So I was definitely putting in work. Good news. Next month, I only have one class that whole month. So I'm going to have a lot more free time to make videos and come back with streaming. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all happy for that, but as I was saying, some of y'all may have may, may, may do the same thing when y'all are stressed. When you, when you're busy. Okay. Number one, you start off busy, right? Number two, you start cramming everything. You start trying to, trying to do too much stuff at um, once. Then number three, you hit the burnout stage during the burnout stage. You're like, I'm tired, but I have to do it. Then number four, which is the part I talked about before the worst part. That's when procrastination comes in, bro. Do not procrastinate y'all. I know it's easier said than done because I procrastinated a lot, but today I, if I showed y'all the list I was doing today and the list I'm gonna do, no, today as in Sunday, which is yesterday for y'all and the list I'm gonna do tomorrow, I definitely stopped, I stopped procrastinating. I have a lot to, to do, bro, but I told myself I'm gonna get it done because when I started procrastinating and started pushing stuff to the next day, as I said before, the next day came and I had more stuff I have, I have, I have more stuff to add from what happened that day onto my list. So the things I put on my list from the day before just makes it way much more. Then I tell myself, you know what? That's cool. I'm going to push it down to the next day. Cause I should be good the next day. Then the next day comes the same thing happens again. So now I'm feeling overwhelmed because of procrastination. Number five. I, and it's not really depression but i guess like irritation you know being stressed because of because of the procrastination i don't remember if i said stress or not but i think i did so i'm gonna just say irritation right irritation slash sadness i'm gonna say irritation slash sadness is number five irritation slash sadness that is when you know you start looking like you start noticing how how your current state of life may not feel like good in, in a sense, because I've gotten to the point sometimes, and I'm pretty sure y'all have too. when I will look at my situation, I'm like, dang, man, if only I did this when I was supposed to do that, it's good. It's good to let yourself know when you should have done better because that's how you do better. But one thing I'm going to tell y'all right now, do not harp on that, bro. Do not harp on that. Believe me, do not harp on that. When I've graduated from Valencia in December, December, it was like December 20, I think it was 20, December 23rd. Yeah, December 23rd. I had five months, five months of no school at all until I started full sale May 1st of 2023. And I, gra I graduated December 23rd, 2022. And I had a five month gap until May 1st, 2023, because I was getting, I was getting stuff sorted out for college, but I had that much of a gap to make videos. I was making videos, but I wasn't streaming. And when I did stream, I barely streamed. I was procrastinating. I wasn't doing things that I wanted to do when I had a lot of free time. And now that I'm back in school and the way full cell is, um, this is very important to the thing. They make you go to school like you're actually having a job. I went to school. I was in class, not doing, not doing work. The work adds more hours. I was in class for 30 hours every single week excluding that's that is excluding the work and the projects i had to do so just imagine 40 hours plus a week that's like a regular job right so once i started full cell i got i 
I got thrown back into reality and I was like, man, I got to get back on a ball. The, the procrastination, all this and that was, it, it was messing me up. So I was like, let me start doing what I was supposed to do. And that's when the sadness comes. When I started grinding like I was supposed to, when I started full sale. And like I said, I apologize if this story is so random. I didn't have a script. I just said, I'm just talk and be natural. But when I started, I was like, man, I kind of wish I really started being consistent streaming when I first started, because obviously I know right now I don't really have much of a much of a like much of like a support group when it comes to Twitch. And obviously I'm not active on Twitch. But when you can only stream in like small increments of times and like certain days, it's kind of hard to grow. But I knew that if I would have streamed at least almost every single day, the five months I had and been consistent on my VODs on the VOD channel, I would have for sure been growing a lot more than I am now. But I was like, dang, I don't have time to do that because I, I really only have one day of free time. And besides that, I'm going home to make videos and do homework and just do other stuff around the house. So that's when the sadness came in. And that's the main part that you guys 100% do not go when you start thinking about nostalgia. It's great to think about the good times and it's great to reminisce. But one thing I realized is I don't know who needs to hear this. I don't know who may be going through this. The past is the past. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, you may have enjoyed it. It may have been some great times. There may, there may be people that you enjoy from the past who are no longer here. And I get that. But it's the past. Let it go. It will never happen again with that moment. You can you can do some similar moments, but that exact moment will never happen again. No matter how good it was, let it go, man. It's going to at the end. It's good. That's great because it's great that you you got that memory to remember. But don't let it make you feel like your past was better than your present. And the reason why I'm saying this is because. For a long time, I kept thinking about, man, I wish I felt the same way when I first started grinding YouTube. I'm 22. I've been doing gaming on YouTube since I was 18. I see growth, but it's not really nothing that people will think four years of the grind would have gotten me. And I feel embarrassed. Even though I'm trying my hardest. But then i was like this mindset is going to cripple me to where i can, to where i won't be able to be myself to even make a break on youtube because i will be so self-conscious in my content and people can see it when i make videos so i was like lord please restore me and let me feel how i used to feel when i first started grinding i know I went through things and challenges and, you know, obviously I'm not going to be the same, but I just wanted to enjoy myself like I used to. And that's when the Lord was like, you just, just do you just do, do what, what makes you happy. Don't worry about the trends. Right. And that's when I, that's when I had to snap out of it. I was like, <clears throat> the nostalgia is cool, but let me worry about now. And that's when y'all saw I made the Prince Becker throwback series because it's a lot of old school games I enjoy, like Pop Tropica and stuff. It's a lot of games I'll enjoy, even if I don't make a series to make one video on it. I, I will enjoy that video and it will come out on the screen and you guys will feel uplifted by me being uplifted on the screen. Right. And I'm like. The past was cool. But I'm living in a present. Let me make the present cooler. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me make this memory something that I'm going to love as well. Because the one thing that I I realized, and I really hope it's, I really hope y'all understand what I'm really trying to get at. Because 
like I said, my mind's everywhere. But the one thing I realized, right, is, you know, y'all know how I just told y'all how I was like, I really wish I felt like how I felt when I first started YouTube. And when I first started, I used to walk around and people and be like, yo, I do YouTube. I do YouTube. I used to be like, I used to like tell people like, yeah, I do YouTube. Cause I thought I was like, I thought I did the best ever. Like I was like, like not cockiness, but I was confident in my stuff. But lately I haven't been feeling confident to where somebody in class would ask me if I do YouTube and I would tell them yes, but I would say it so lightly that no one else would know because I would feel bad if someone looked at my views. But then I was like, you know what? That's not the way. I need to go back to where I used to be and be confident in my content. Cause at the end of the day, you can't, you can't predict your views, but you can pre predict the content. And, and that's when I started, that's when I started digging deep down in the source. I said, why in the past, why was I more confident in what I did? Because the content I put out was the best I was able to do. And I thought it was really good. So the views never mattered to why I told people about my YouTube. And I started thinking about that. I said, I'm thinking about the past. Well, if I'm thinking about the past, let me see certain things that made it so good that I can implement and worry about the present rather than just look at the past. So now, now that I'm putting my, my full effort back into editing videos and you guys, obviously y'all can see that because you may Nikki, I feel like with a really good series, Plasma Burst really really good editing um i feel like i really did good on that i'm confident again like i really do feel like this the videos that i'm dropping now is the best that i can put out i'm no longer holding punches as you guys see it's taking longer to drop videos but the videos are coming out higher quality so it's worth it and pretty much what i'm saying is don't harp on the past let it go even if it was a really good memory, let it go. Because when I was in high school, I used to look at I used to look at my middle school years and my elementary years, and I used to be like, man, I really miss those years. Now I'm in college and I'm looking back at high school and I'm like, man, I really miss those years. So what does that mean? When I have kids, I'm gonna look back to now and I'm gonna be like, man, I really missed back then. And it's gonna keep going over and over and over until I'm dead. And I'm sitting here like, what's the connection in all of this? It means it's so easy to remember the good things in the past that it becomes so easy to only see the negative things in the present. Once this moment becomes the past, I'm going to look back and remember all the great things. But I wasn't living in the moment when I was currently in that moment. When the past was the present, I wasn't living in that moment because I was looking at the past. So once the present becomes a past and I'm in the future, I'm going to be looking at it like, yo, that was a great time. But was it really when I was in that time? To me, at least, because I was so worried about what I used to have. You know what I'm saying? So pretty much all I'm saying is that, like, if you if you're stressed, if you're worried about the past, if you if you're reminiscing because you know you think that you had it easier back in the day, or you know this, that, and the third, man, I just want to say, like, bro, let it go find ways to make your days find ways to make yourself happy now but at the end of the day things are gonna go things are not gonna be here forever we're not we don't even we don't even our bodies aren't even made to last forever so what do y'all think about tv show video games relationships a lot of stuff don't last forever bro it don't and it's okay but like I said, let go of the past because that's the one problem I had. And that's the problem that was hitting me hard when I started getting stressed and I started procrastinating because I kind of got into my shell and I was thinking like, dang, bro, if I can go back in time, I would not be right here. But then that's like, like I said, that's when I started thinking. I'm like, bro, 
no that's that's not it because the one thing that also had me remember it's a lot of friends i had from middle school elementary high school when, when we when we see each other now we're happy to see each other i don't we don't remember the the arguments we don't remember the beefing we don't remember none of that crap but i'm pretty sure we did it and i'm pretty sure during the time that we remember we weren't really close close but that just shows in the grand scheme of things the negative stuff don't matter bro the thing that you mainly remember are the good memories and i know y'all may say but what about the crazy crazy stuff half of the time the crazy crazy stuff is only if you really want to remember it or if it's something super deep now i'm not saying if it's something super deep of course you're going to remember it but if it's something small like let's say somebody cussed you out or somebody flicked you off you know don't worry about that you know keep looking at the good stuff number one of the good things you can look at is that you woke up today a lot of people didn't do that you know god bless you waking up god bless you with breath a lot of people they don't do that they mean a lot of people didn't do that a lot of people they didn't wake up to this morning a lot of people they woke up this morning, but now they're not here no more. You know what I'm saying? So just be happy. Be happy that you can make more memories. You know what I'm saying? Be happy that the Lord blessed you to have good memories. There's a lot of people, their life was a blur because they went through so much struggle. They didn't really have good memories. The hard point, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, if you're stressed, if you've been, like I, like I said, I really hope you guys understand what I was trying to say. Cause I, I just, I just started talking and just saying how I, how I, I was just saying how, how, how I've been feeling and trying to you know let y'all know if you're stressed man you going through something or you know you're just like reminiscing on the past because your life right now may not be what you want or you may not be where you want to be just know that you know i understand where you're coming from at the end of the day just look at the good things look at the things the lord blessed you with you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it could be worse. And for a lot of people, it is worse. So I'm just keep doing you, keep doing better. You know, work on that procrastination. Um, work on just the words you say too. A lot of times I get mad and I, I immediately start saying negative stuff, but it's like you don't want to keep saying negative stuff. Say, say positive stuff, man. Just do, do what you got to do to, to keep going higher. Don't do something that you know is going to negatively affect you just because that's what you felt like doing at the moment because you were enraged or you were mad. I hope whatever I said got somebody. I hope it sounded like it made sense. Um, Let me see if I... Yeah, that's on that's about it. I really have nothing else to say, but hope you guys just have a great time, man. Like I said, if y'all stressed, man, you can come to my DM, Discord. Just click the link and, and you can find a way to message me. Um I don't know what my next video is gonna be. I think it might be a throwback series video. I also should have no, I'm not going to say I should. I am going to because I'm tired of procrastinating Um, my film channel. I'm going to have two scene reenactments coming out on that channel very soon. Um, I have a skit coming out too on YouTube soon. And I also have like other stuff. But y'all are going to see more of my channel getting utilized. So far, I've, I've only been using this channel. Um, Obviously, this channel, my TikTok and my YouTube shorts, they're all tied together. The clips go on my TikTok YouTube shorts from this channel um with me streaming if my twitch is going to become active again in my twitch vod channel and also with the with the film channel stuff that's going to become active again yeah it's just you know film channel um you guys know i made an irl channel i don't know my first upload is going to be on that channel so to be honest i don't know what i'm gonna do yet and i'm also going to um work on my I'm not going to say that, but yeah. <sighs> Love peach and grease, small feet. Give me some good tea. It's your boyfriend, baby. Let's get it.
You gotta keep going, let the rhythm keep flowing Doesn't matter if it's rocky, man, you gotta keep rolling God's the only one knowing, so don't be guided with your eyes Be guided with the light, be guided with the faith Be guided with his grace, don't be scared to make mistakes You're not doing this alone, if he's abiding in your home God is gonna make you known, you're gonna be great You can do this, why would you have this burden if he ain't gonna take you through this? Man, trust me I know how you guys feel right now Some of y'all probably stress, you know Not knowing what's next in life but trust me, man, you just put the trust in the Lord and it's going to be all right. Like right now, you know what I'm saying? I feel a little, you know, I'm, I'm confused, but you know, I'm going to just trust and I'm going to just, you know, keep going. Pull yourself out, you know what I'm saying? Never give up on your dreams. I know how hard it seems. I know you want to scream. Sometimes life feels like a scratch up DVD. You know what I mean? You just gotta go so searching Just cause it ain't working Don't mean don't put the work in Sometimes roots take longer You just gotta keep the hunger Once it start growing Your foundation will start showing So don't be mad when the people don't know you Trust that God will show you In due season There is a reason When the time comes You will know why he was keeping The world's eye view of you you got some work to do, carry through the build You weren't being slept on, you were kept under God's holy shield You just had to build and had to stay yield Keep being fulfilled, he will put you in the field And you will see the fruit, and you will know the truth I know that the world says this and that, you know what I'm saying But I know for a fact, you know, God has always had my back And he always has yours too Even if you don't know what to do, you know what I'm saying God is always there ready and prepared put god first and your life will be better trust in what i'll say you will get better and better i don't really have much else to say but you know i just made this song for anyone who's feeling this who's been feeling this way for a while my bad y'all you know i'm kind of choking up but hey you feel me sometimes life gets hard but go to god for guidance and you will be at peace if you don't believe just try god and trust me you will see what the hype is about love y'all peace